So today is a rest day here in Abu Dhabi and we are on our way for a morning visit to the Louvre. We have three buses going. Hello. And I'm going to show you. Hey, I'm going to show you what a fun time we have today. So stay tuned. All the people on their way to the tour. So this is the outside of the Louvre. We started in 2017 and I read on their website that they already have, uh, have had 2 million visitors already. Right, photo spot I guess after that quick photo session we're gonna quickly move into the air-conditioned interiors of this art museum ah, the revolving doors So now they're going to do a check of the vaccination certificate and the RT-PCR test within 14 days. That is the rule in Abu Dhabi. If you want to go to any public place, you need to be both vaccinated and have a RT-PCR test which has been done within the last 14 days. Made it through security, <laughs> even at the Louvre. And now we are going to go in. I'm going to show you. Not too many Indians have come here. Yeah? yeah. Just what you, Rahul, me, and that's it. Yeah. Koi or nahi hai. Sushant has come. I think they want to sleep in on a holiday. Yeah. yeah. Jaldi nahi uthna hai kisi ko. So the gang is ready now to enter. Put it out the ticketing situation and now we are on our way. This is the gift shop. You can carry some mementos back with you. We will be taking a tour of this on the way back. The boutique, they call it. And we are in. Sculptures. The theme of this sculpture is motherhood. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. I'm sorry. whatever you want to call it. Moving on to the next exhibit. <laughs> the title of this exhibit is Luxury. Oh, there's so much glare here. You can't see that, but these are the Symbols of luxury. Pots have been engraved. And this exhibit is figures in print. All these sculptures are depicting prayer. All of them are praying. Ah, this is dance for sure. The beauty in dancing. Let's see. Yes, that's correct. Dance is instinctive known and celebrated everywhere beautiful figurines for dance and the last one here okay any guesses what this is hmm what are we looking at here we are looking at hand axes in the same way that nature creates forms in the leaves of trees and pebbles smoothed by the action of water, human beings produce geometrical shapes and thus exploit their own creativity. So these hand axes are all man-made tools. Very interesting. This is a quick floor plan of where we are. Galleries one, two, and three. This is the famous sculpture that you see online as well. Monumental statue with two heads. This is from 6500 BCE, made of plaster and bitumen, from Jordan. Lots and lots of sculptures on display, each one having a story. Anything from India yet? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one, yeah? Interesting. Hmm? Is 
there one of them no on the floor oh interesting i miss that i miss that very interesting These are all polished axes I use as status symbols. If you owned one of these. possibly could mean that you are a person of status. We are now in the second gallery, I think. Anything interesting here? Yeah, Indus Valley necklaces. Indus Valley necklaces, lovely. Oh, what material is this? This red? Have they written it? Bead necklaces. Oh, it can't be chalk. Soft stone, I think. Yeah. No, that's different. Ah, this one. Yeah, this one is pretty. What's on the rest? A lot of artifacts from the Indus Valley civilization, Mesopotamian civilization. Between East and West is what the sculpture is. This is a military helmet. This is a, a tile showing combat, war, war scene. This is from the Iraq Empire, yeah? Neo-Assyrian Empire. This is figures of bound captives. Their hands and their feet were tied up and this is the figurines for that from 
332 BCE made of glass and this is the head of a male devotee from Afghanistan wow so interesting this is again battle shown on a pot this is oh wow the cup this is a cup depicting the fall of Troy from Greece the famous fall of Troy the Trojan horse let's find the Trojan horse here Culture of a Cretan princess Aridiane, Ari, Ariadne, Ariadne, or Ariane, maybe. The D is silent from the Roman Empire. Rome. This is the male torso, and this one is Athena, the protective deity of Athens. That's Buddha. Chinese dragon here. Let's see what's written about this. Yeah. The winged dragon, warring states period, northern China, 475 BCE, made of bronze. Sarcophagus lid in Egyptian style. Interesting. Never been to Egypt before. Maybe someday. This is the portrait of a queen, Cleopatra. Again, from Egypt. Our head of Emperor Augustus, Roman Empire. This is China. The funerary figurine of a horse's head from China. This is the model of a watchtower from 25 to 220 CE. This is the statuette of a servant from the Western Han Dynasty. 200 BC. This is some disc. Mexico. We are in Mexico here now. Oh, 
This is beautiful. Italian Peninsula. What is this? So well carved. Look at that. Gorgeous. What is it? One more. This is a brooch in the form of an eagle from the Italian peninsula, 450 CE, made of gold. This is a mirror decorated with Taoist divinities made up of iron and gold foil. This is in the shape of a Buddha shrine. Lots to see here at the Louvre. Almost impossible to capture everything on video. But I'm doing my best. Man dressed in a Roman toga called the orator. This looks Indian. Buddhist. Bodhisattva. Yes, I knew it. So this is Bodhisattva intercessor between the Buddha and his followers. Kushan Empire, Pakistan, Gandhara, 100 to 300 CE. We have seen so many of these this time when I went to Leh Ladakh. And what do we have here? Cult relief of the Gaudi sacrificing a bull in Italy. Finally entering the second wing. That's Nubair and his mother. This is from Nepal. Buddha. Yeah, Buddha in a time yet to come. This is my Treya. Again, I saw so many of these in Ladakh. These are also beautiful. Symbols of the Divine. 